War Room Sports, www.warroomsports.com. What? Ain't no more to it. B. Austin, Hot Block Commander, War Room Sports. WarroomSports.com, on Twitter and IG, at War Room Sports. WarroomSportsTV.com. That's right, we're Hollywood. Want to get at me directly? At Thought Epiphany on Twitter. The topic this evening, folks. Mr. Royce White, the 18th selection of the 2012 draft, Houston Rockets forward, and as of yet, missing in action from their roster. We all know the story. It's quite prevalent in today's media. He's being examined, poked, prodded, laughed at, chastised, teased. And as any young man of his age, he's lashing out via social media without the caring hand of a good publicist and media savvy agent to keep him from doing more damage to himself. Listen, if there's one thing that we're known for here at the War Room and War Room Sports, it's our candor, our lack of filter and being non-politically correct, is that a word? Has to be, I just made it up. Royce White. So the first thought I had was scared to fly. You drafted in the NBA? Get your rich ass on a plane. Go fly play basketball, and get paid millions and millions of money to play a child's game. My next thought, is there no one in the Houston Rockets organization that's familiar with the A-team? Hannibal, Face, Murdoch, they've shown you the blueprint for dealing with Royce White. Knock his ass out and put him on a plane. He'll wake up, he'll be all right. Listen, folks. You're probably laughing right now as hard as I'm laughing inside and not showing it. But those are honestly my first thoughts. <sighs> then I went a little deeper. Had some time to reflect, had some time to think. Um... Talked to my conscience a little bit. Felt a little bit bad about the joke. But it really wasn't a joke. It was my honest, it was my honest sentiments. Mental illness. The young man suffers from an anxiety disorder. Something that on a day-to-day -day basis, you and I probably don't think of as being that serious of a disorder. But I'll tell you something. Someone that suffers from it, huh, talk to them. Talk to Royce White. Look at Royce White's Twitter timeline. <sighs> Listen, mental illness is in my family. My father suffered from it before his demise. There are family members. Hell, if you know me personally, maybe you think I'm a little crazy. It was a great documentary done by another sports outlet show remained nameless but it was a very very good documentary gave us a very candid look at the young man what he goes through what his experience has been how he copes I have to honestly say that I'm pulling for Royce White has he made some mistakes is he handling the media properly and the attention right now probably not but I will submit this. It's far braver and far more courageous for this young man to live underneath the microscope 
in fact, allowing us to put that microscope up to his life and show himself coping, show himself overcoming, show himself battling, far more courageous than what you or I do every day in denying the fact that we have fear, in hiding and running from our fears, in fearing fear itself. I think Royce White is actually to be commended for coming as far as he's come. And I don't know how my colleagues feel, but me personally, I'm pulling for the dude. Royce, get your ish together. When the time is right, get on the court. Ball, you've already won, brother. You've already triumphed. You're in the NBA. You're an example to thousands, no millions, that battle with mental illness every day. They can look to you. So hopefully whatever you're going through right now subsides, you get over it, you get it in check, and you're able to do what you love to do, which is play basketball. B. Austin, War Room Sports. Check us out. Kuwait is the war room with five nights at the round table. Five Philly guys, the first of 